Today I'm going to unbox and install an OBD2 adapter and scan tool. There are two OBD2 adapters for the Model 3, one for the model year 2018 and another for model years 2019 and up. I'll talk about the differences later in the video. The other component we need for this installation is a scan tool OBD Link Bluetooth adapter. The LX model is the cheapest one they sell and this one works very well. OBD stands for Onboard Diagnostics. It is used for diagnostics for auto repair as well as for emissions testing among other things. OBD was the first standard and it existed from 1991 to 1992 as a California standard. One of the disadvantages is that the interface was manufacturer specific. OBD2 is the successor and is a federal standard and it has a universal interface. All cars made since 1996 have OBD2 ports, even the Tesla Model S and X. The Tesla Model 3, however, is the first car wavered from requiring an OBD2 port. Now let's unbox, or rather unbag, the components for this installation. As I mentioned before, I have a 2018 Model 3, so I got the adapter for that model year. The adapter is a 16-pin cable with a dongle grafted between the male and female connector ends. The two white connectors will bridge the gap on the connectors in the car. The second item is an OBD Link Model LX Bluetooth OBD2 scan tool. It connects via Bluetooth to a device of your choosing, usually a smartphone or tablet. Please be aware that this adapter supports Android only and is not compatible with Apple iOS devices. There is also an MX model in addition to this LX that offers a few more features but nothing that really applies to Tesla. And in testing, the LX model works just fine. Here you can see that the LX Bluetooth module fits into the adapter. The OBD link has a number of LED indicators on the front panel. Starting on the left we have the power light, then the OBD light, the host light, and lastly the Bluetooth light. There is a Bluetooth pairing button on the bottom left side. Now let's go outside to the car and install it. Here are two tools that you'll need for this project, a flathead screwdriver, and also one or two plastic pry bars for removing the trim. First, we need to power down the car. The easiest way to do this is to open the driver's window. And open the rear doors for accessing the rear seat. Now we are going to carefully reach into the car, make sure we don't touch the seat. Press the vehicle menu button, then the safety and security menu. Then you'll press the power off button and the confirmation. The LCD turns off, but the car is not off yet. Be careful not to touch the driver's seat or open or close any of the doors or trunk. This will wake up the car. Wait one to eight minutes until the car's power relay disconnects. You'll hear a loud clanking sound. This is a warning, do not continue with this installation until the car is powered off. You risk doing damage to the car. A second method is to sit in the rear seat with all the doors closed, lean forward to the front LCD panel and do the power off procedure. The easiest location for the OBD2 adapter to be installed is right behind the center console. I will remove the rear cover. There are five connectors that hold this trim piece into the console area.
We need to push the male adapter plug into the fixed female connector. It needs to be left outside of the cover so that we can attach the Bluetooth scan tool. Reattach the rear console trim cover. Make sure you snap in all the connectors. You can now insert the OBD Link Bluetooth adapter into the dongle connector. I tucked the adapter cable and OBD Link tool between the driver's seat and the center console area. Here you can see it from the driver's seat. It is easy to reach in case you need to change setup or reset the device. If there are any issues with installing the OBD Link device, detach and reattach it to the adapter. This may also clear up any issues if the OBD Link has not been accessed via Bluetooth for a long period of time. Press this button on the lower left side of the OBD Link device. It will set it to Bluetooth search mode. Now you can recognize the device on your tablet or smartphone. That concludes the installation process. Watch the next video to show how to access the OBD2 data using the Scan My Tesla app. If you're interested in this OBD2 adapter and scan tool, please see the video description for links. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. It helps the channel grow. See you in the next video.